would be remiss, however, if I didn't tell you that resveratrol as the argument for drinking and drinking red wine in particular is just not a good one. It's just not supported by the peer reviewed research. Indeed, not just heavy alcohol consumption of 12 to 24 or more drinks per week, but also light to moderate alcohol consumption of any type, wine, beer, spirits, etc., does reduce the thickness of the brain. It really does reduce cortical thickness. In fact, it actually scales with the amount of alcohol that people drink. And this has been well documented in a number of different studies. I can provide a link to several of these. One of the more striking ones actually shows that there's almost a dose dependent increase in shrinkage of gray matter volume and in these white matter tracks, these uh, axons, these wires as it would, that connect different neurons as a function of how much alcohol people drink. 